While creating a website, sometimes we need to give some additional information about a particular thing on the page like this. Or there can be situations wherein we want the customer to see the information only if the customer wish to see it like this and it is actually hidden by default. So in this video, we will see how to create a nice little pop-up about the additional information or hide the information which is only visible on a click by the client or the visitor on your website. So let us start. Hi, this is Prakash from theskillville.com and here we learn easy step-by-step -step WordPress web designing without coding. So in this video, we will learn how to create a learn more pop-up which will give additional information to the visitor or the client and we will also learn how to create a show more button which will give additional information on click by the customer or the client. So to do this, let us get on to our test website and this is my test website. So as you see, there is no learn more text here and we will add the learn more text with the pop-up box with the help of a small plugin. So let us hover over to the dashboard and go to the plugins, say add new. And here we will search for pop up anything. And you will see the first plugin. The name is pop up anything, a marketing pop up and lead generation conversions. So let us install this plugin. And activate it. So there can be other plugins, but I found this plugin very useful and simple to set up. So here I will just say allow and continue. So it has taken us to the add pop-up section and here we just need to click on add pop-up. So now what we are doing is we are creating this little pop-up which on click on this text will pop up on the screen. So let us see the settings for it. And here we need to give the title and the title I will give here is additional info. Now if we scroll down, it will take us to the behaviors tab. And here we do not have much options and most of the options are for the pro plugin. But we are just creating a simple pop-up and the options which are available on the free plugin are sufficient for it. So here it has already selected announcement and the second thing is the pop-up type. So it is by default the modal pop-up and here we need not change anything for the settings. So let us go to the content section. And here we will give the main heading and the heading for the section is the on road cost. So the heading is the one which will show on the pop-up heading. So on road costs is the heading for this form. And if you want, you can have a subheading like applicable for all vehicles. So this is a subheading for the form and here we need to key in the actual content for the pop-up. So I will just copy this content but you can have your own customized content over here. So I will copy the content And below that, you can have a secondary content as well. 
you can set the custom close text and the security note here i will just say as per t and c's so if you want to keep the close text you can keep it or i can just remove this text so if you want you can preview this pop-up now and if i click on the preview i can check how the form will look on the pop-up so here it is so it says on road cost applicable for all vehicles and it has given me the exact content and uh, the node below so this thing i will show you how we can remove it so if you want you can make any changes to the form by looking at the preview now if we go to the next section that is the design section you will have the options to design the pop-up so either you can have a full screen pop-up which is usually not recommended because it won't look as a pop-up then so what we'll do we will have a pop-up width of say 520 pixels and the height as 400 and we will have the pop-up position as center center and let us not change anything for the pop-up effect so the speed in and speed out will be the same i can change the loader color and i will make it black now if you scroll down the section belongs to the pro plugin and we cannot make any changes over here so let us go to the next section that is the advanced setting and here if you preview the form you will see the plugin credits and if you want to disable it you can just simply uncheck this box and now if you preview the pop-up again you will see that there are no credits below the pop-up so this is how you can disable the credits to the form and make it customized as per your requirement so now if we publish this we can use this form on our website so now to display this pop-up on our website you can go to the behavior tab and if you scroll down you'll see the pop-up display settings here from the drop down you can select different conditions to show your pop-up so the first thing can be the pop-up will automatically be seen on the page load you can have a simple link you can also attach this to the image click or the button click other features are for the pro plugin so i will select the simple link and here we need to give the link text so i will say read more and the most important thing that you see now is the pop-up short code so with the help of this short code you can display the pop-up link on any part of your website you can also set the pop-up delay and pop-up disappear time here if you scroll down now it will show you hide close button and if you take this it will hide the close button but i want to show the close button to the customer so i will leave it as blank close pop-up on escape so i will check this box i will also check the enable loader box so this will enable the pop-up loader and you can also set the loader speed from here so let us save or update this form and now if i go to any page of my website i can simply add the short code so i will go to this page so now it is showing edit with elementor but if you are facing any issues regarding the elementor page not loading issue you can refer to my video the link is in the description so now let us go to any section and add the short code widget. 
So for example, I want the information to be displayed here and I have just copied the short code here. So now if I say update and preview this page, you will see that the read more text is displayed here. And if I click on this, the pop-up will appear. Now let us see how we can add this like the pop-up on the sidebar. So to do that, you can go to appearance and widgets. So in the single page sidebar, now we need to add the text widget. So here is the text widget and it will be displayed in the listing single page sidebar. So it might be a different sidebar on your website. So I will say add widget. Now here I will give it a title and I'll put a asterisk and say excludes on road tax. And now I can just paste the short code and say save. Now if we click done, the widget is now saved. And now if we go to the product single page, on any of the products, the information is displayed like this. So it says excludes on road tax. And if we click on read more, the pop-up is displayed now. So if you want, we can take this information on the top just by dragging the text widget to the top. It saves automatically. And if we refresh this page, now it is relevant to the price for this particular item and it says excludes on road tax. And if we click on read more, the pop-up is displayed. So now let us go to the second functionality that we had seen and the functionality will enable us to create a button to show more or show less on any section of our website. So let me close the additional windows here. And let us hover over to the plugin section and we'll be making use of a new plugin. And the name of the plugin is show hide. So the first plugin that you see is the show hide collapse expand plugin and let us install the plugin and activate it. So for this functionality also, you will see a lot of plugins available, but the simplest one is the show hide collapse expand plugin. So let us go to the settings. Here you will see that the plugin has very simple settings and you just need to enable jQuery UI effect. And from here, you can preview the effect. So if you click on the display more information, the information will be displayed like this. So if you click on highlight, for example, the text will be highlighted when it appears or when it disappears. So you can select the effect of your choice. I will keep it as blind and also the custom animation speed. I will keep it as the default speed. The last setting is for the make button and the links stick to the bottom of collapsed section. We will see later. So let us save the plugin settings. And now we need to go to the help section where we'll find the short code and we just need to copy this short code and paste it to the section of our choice. So let us open the product page. And 
I will open any product here. So we have already enabled the read more section here and we are working on this particular section and we need to add the collapse button here. So let us go and click edit with Elementor. So you can make use of the Gutenberg editor also and the same thing can be achieved there. So here is a little trick and we need to have the text editor. So I will check the text editor and here I will copy the short code. So what we need to do, we need to replace this text will be hidden with the text that we want to display or hide. So I will just copy the text and in this section I will replace the text and you can see the things changing on the editor section. So if I now update this page and go to the preview I will see that I now have the nice button. If I click show more, I can see the information below. And if I now click on show less, the button text changes. So if you want this button to be fixed on the bottom of the section, you can easily do that with the help of the make button and link stick to the bottom of the collapse section. And if you tick this box and save the plugin settings and refresh this page, you'll see that the button is now stick to the bottom of the content or the text that we are managing with the help of this button. You can also make the changes to the color of this button and it can be done from the code here. And I will make the text color and update the section. And now if I check, the button color has changed to green with the text as the black text. So this is how we can add the show less or show more information and also the read more pop-up box simply on our website. So hope this information was useful to you and with the help of these small tools, you'll be able to create nice little interactive sections for your website. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do consider subscribing it and hit the bell icon so that you'll get notifications for all my upcoming videos. So thank you so much and take care.